Hello everyone, Straight Jackie here. Hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, just had a radio on the bench and uh, figured I'd get a video of it and put it for sale. I've got probably 40 more I need to really be doing, but it is what it is. I just don't have time and it's not enough. Uh, to be honest, it's not enough uh, of a priority. I don't need the money or anything, so it just hasn't <laughs> hasn't uh, come along. But if I have a project or something that I want to raise some money for, you'll probably see me list a whole bunch of them. Um, but, uh, this is a cool radio. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of these. I tried to find some on eBay or Marketplace. They must be kind of a more rare radio. But, um, I'll tell you why I like it so much. It's got this, uh, high, medium, low on the, on the tone. But, uh, channel 6. I have bad hearing on the high frequencies, so I like to run it on high, but you can see it gets real bassy if that's what you're into, and then there's kind of a medium, which sounds pretty pleasing to my ear anyways, but then the high is really good for me because uh, I can't hear high frequency stuff hardly at all, so that kind of brightens it up a lot for me, uh, so that's why I like it, it's just the receive's good to listen to. You can even hear, even on channel 6 with them shooting out, it just has a very clear, clear, clean receive. Um, additionally, um, it's got a dimmer, which I would use because this is kind of seizure inducing right here. Um, has light colors that you can change through. Somehow or another, I think it'll scroll through them, but let's see orange, yellow, red, green, blue, and then green again. Um, some of these colors you can notice maybe this piece of it is not as bright as the rest of it I don't know if that's just by design the LED doesn't span far enough or if they're um, <laughs> okay. um, if there's uh, a LED out or if it's just the design of it they're not as spaced out but it's still extremely bright so I don't think it matters either way uh, and of course this giant meter which is another thing I love about it giant meter and and it um it seems to be calibrated really well on this particular one if you're getting to the 30 you've got to be in the driveway uh another feature somebody might find useful is like if you're a if you're a truck driver maybe you might like this channel express um you can go anywhere and then pro press the button and it'll take you back to uh wherever it is that um, you set it to the way you set it is you just go like to the channel and hold it down for three seconds till it blinks and then that means it's programmed so I can go down here and press the button it's going to take me to six it may have a scan or something on it I'm not sure I don't know necessarily how to use it but it does have an antenna light for your SWR uh, mine's like 1.01 .01 or so it doesn't really come on but um, has talk back and a variable power might squeal hello <laughs> Let me turn it down some hello hello yeah I'm just so close to the speaker hello 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 I also have it up so loud there you go testing one two three testing one two three yeah so it's gonna squeal because I'm sitting right right there distance from the speaker with the microphone as a, with a power mic <laughs> uh but let's see is um if there's anything else we got our mic gain rf gain um the roger beep works you could hear it even when we were doing the talk back i do believe yeah that's pretty much it i mean the condition of the radio is very clean um i would say eight eight plus easily um I mean, it's not perfect. There's some smudges on here. Uh, some, A lot of it might wipe off, but it might have some light, you know, typical wear, like a little light scratching or something. Let's see what she does on the meter on a 100-watt slug. Oop. Make sure this is in good. Don't drop my phone this time. Uh, peak kit is on. I've got the, I'm going to turn the dead key all the way down. Too much modulation. Might have to turn my mic game down. 
a half a watt audio 36 or so uh, maybe one watt excuse me probably about one watt I think it's actually three quarters if I put a smaller slug in but right around that area where the lowest you'd probably want to you know drive most amps um, and then all the way up about eight watts oh yeah 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 oh deal about 34 35 somewhere in there so yeah anywhere from let's look at that one more time it's a little under a watt all the way up to about seven or eight watts um of course it under a watt the gain is so high that uh, I can talk uh, two foot from the microphone, so that's not how you would probably want to run it. But um, nonetheless, there she is, Connex 366 CE Night Runner, good talking radio. I don't really know what it's worth, being that um, I haven't seen many of them. But let's shoot for 150 shipped on this one. Shoot for 150 shipped. So that's maybe 130 bucks. I feel like that's got to be a bargain. It doesn't have the bands, but I don't talk on the bands anyway, so who who most people don't care about that. Um, all right, if you're interested, just let me know. You can mail uh, email at skeletonamps at gmail.com. Um, you can respond to the thread, whatever you want to do. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I may list one or two more uh, this week if I get the opportunity. Got a long weekend, so 73s.